Hey guys, in my last video I showed you how to set up ComfyUI with Zluda. However, that process was long and tedious. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up ComfyUI on Windows for AMD GPUs, including RDNA 3, 3.5, and 4. The best part is that I made a one-step install script and it does not require NVIDIA at all. So I've set up this script that handles everything. It checks your Python installation, downloads ComfyUI if you don't have it, creates a virtual environment, installs the correct Rockham PyTorch version for your GPU, installs all the dependencies and even configures your GPU settings. You can grab the script from the GitHub link in the description or copy it directly. Once you have it, just run it in PowerShell using administrator. The script will ask which AMD GPU you're using. RDNA 3 is for the RX 7000 series, RDNA 3.5 is for Ryzen AI or Strix Halo, and RDNA 4 for the RX 9000 series. It will automatically install the right Rockham PyTorch nightly build for your GPU. So right now I'm showing you a demo of me running the script. As you can see, the script is available in my directory right here. And I'm just going to run it using the dot slash. And make sure you're administrator. Here we are selecting our GPU generation. I'm going to select 3 before the, my 9070XD. And now it's cloning the ComfyUI repository and creating the virtual environment from the repository. And now it's installing the Rockham PyTorch for our version. These are the nightly builds. They're using Rockham 7, which is uh, new, and PyTorch 2.10. And once that's done, it's installing the ComfyUI dependencies from the requirements.txt. After that's installed, we need one more uh, library, which is the Torch SDE. And now, as you can see, it's telling us to select the HIV visible devices. Currently, I've previously set it up to one, which is my 9070XT. However, you can uh, leave, it at, leave it as it is. And if it's not correct and not showing your GPU, try changing the variable to 1. Now it's launching ComfyUI. And as you can see, the 9070XT is showing right here. Now we'll copy paste the URL and go to Google and paste it in. And there we go. We have the greeting of ComfyUI with the template selection. You can go over and try these out. I tried the text to video alpha. However, it, it didn't work as cleanly as I expected. But I'll show you guys that Flux Schnell FP8 checkpoint works. So now I've loaded up Flux Schnell FP8 and uh, let's go ahead and run the basic prompt. For the first time, it will take a bit of time to load the model to memory and the generation speed is actually fast, 2 seconds per iteration on average. As you can see, it, the prompt was executed in 31 seconds and it looks quite good. However, we'll try again with a different prompt. Let's say a cartoon cat eating a mouse. And let's see how quick this is. There we go, loaded, uh, executed in 12 seconds. So it seems to be that the Rockham 7 is way faster than the previous Zluda technique. So that's it. One script, one step, fully set up. Make sure you check the description for the GitHub link to the script and leave a comment if you run into any issues. Happy generating.